welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's been a few days since I've actually done a video or a vlog, whatever you want to call it. Um, I had a internet issues at home, so I haven't been able to upload. I've got videos on the computer ready to go. So this is going to be just an infill for the time being from my phone. And then hopefully by tomorrow or the next day, the other one will be, one of them will be up, ready to go. So it'll be like two in two days, maybe, fingers crossed. Um, been a bit of a nightmare anyway today's video is just gonna be a quick short one probably a Porsche Targa 4S in for PPF the full front end uh, let me spin you around PPF the full front end I've got the bumper to do the bonnet the wings the up and over I've already done the wing mirrors last night and I've done the lights last night that's it um, it's having the SunTech reaction it's a 12 year with the ceramic coating properties in it. It's this is an absolutely gorgeous vehicle. I'd, I'd have this in a heartbeat. This thing is awesome. So I believe it's about 2017 18 model. Um, there's a few little, there's like one, there's two little chips on it, all I can see. Um, again, it's just protecting what's already there. I've got to trim up these wing mirrors. My patterns were okay, but again, like I said in my previous videos, you can sometimes get better coverage if you sort of wrap it yourself or just go one big sheet over it. And yeah, you can just get better coverage by <laughs> instead of having the patterns. Also, I think it's easier than trying to stretch your patterns into place, whereas that you've got sort of less tension. Um, I mean, it, yeah, it means cutting on the car, but if you can do it properly and you can know how to cut safely, then why not go for it? So I just zoomed out on the video and didn't realize why I had it so closely zoomed in. Um, that gives you a better picture of the vehicle now. Anyway, so I'm gonna start with these wings, then the bonnet, then the bumper, sort of from the top down. And I've already done the lights, but I had a bit of time yesterday evening, just before leaving. So I thought I might as well get those on. They can be drying along with the wing mirrors. Just quick, simple stuff. Well, in for me, it was sort of quick, simple stuff. And then I was going to get all the big panels on today. So I'm going to start with this wing here. Need to just clean it down. Just make get any dust which has landed on it overnight cleaned off. Just go over it one more time, and then I'm going to get this laid on. So that is the wing pattern just laid on, just locked it in so it doesn't fall off down that side. Um, so basically I start in this top corner and then what happens is pulling it forward, it drags out all the creases. Pretty amazing. That wing's on. I'm going to be going into too much recording of actually fitting it on this video because the video got to come in tomorrow or the next day. Um, it's got plenty of that. so. I'm just going to do as a kind of go around. You can already see the the, the enhancedness of between that panel and the, the bonnet and the wing. The amount of more glossy that looks now, just by just having that paint protection put on there. This paint protection has got gloss enhancers in it, so it brings makes it just stand out and pop even more. Anyway, right, I'm going to get the other wing on now. Let's go. So I've. Just laid the bonnet on. What I've done is locked the middle in around the badge first, and then up to the top, and then I'll lock this corner, this quarter in, and then I'll do it in like four quarters. Start here at the bottom, and then working back up. So that's that half of the bonnet on. Now the other side. There you have it, guys. That is the bonnet all in. It's a little bit wet around the side still, but there's not much I can do. I just need to let it just dry out. Um, I try not to use too much tack down solution on this, just allow it to dry nicely so you don't have any stains or markings. Luckily the pattern, well, I cut the bonnet off uh, the plotter and it has the badge cut out of it and it's, it's just seamless, you can't, you can't see it until it's perfect. So I've got the top half of the bonnet bumper locked on, uh, just these couple little bits coming down to lock in. 
So I'm just going to trim up this wing mirror now, tidy it up. It's been on for about probably just under 24 hours. It's dried out perfectly. Look at that. One little, obviously I'd take out that middle part due to lifting and causing the issues down the line. Wrapped around the edge all the way around. It's just more coverage than the actual pattern itself. So I didn't actually finish filming yesterday. Um, I forgot to completely film uh, yesterday afternoon. The time just got away. I've got the whole thing, every panel's on now. I'm just going around just trimming up the front lip, um, this lower lip. Bumper, the lights are done, wings are done, bonnets done, and wing mirrors and the A pillar and window surround. It's all done. Just going around checking all the edges, making sure it's all sitting down nice. I'm just going to get this lower part trimmed in and then hopefully within the next hour or so Lee will be turning up with his um, transit so this one will be going out and that will be coming in I'm going to just go go over this I'll finish up bottom lip give it a polish up then this one's good to go outside weather's not great but um, it should be fine apparently it's going to be clearing up later on so give it a bit more of a fighting chance but so that is now complete. There is. You can't even see it. That this is the problem with uh, PPF trying to advertise it. Yeah, <clears throat> trying to advertise PPF or promote it. You need to take photos of it actually wet on the vehicle. When it's like this, it just looks like standard paintwork. Obviously, it's got the protection there now, but <laughs> that's the only the only drawback when it comes to like I could say in this video. I'm going to PPF this car. We all know it's just been done, but you can't even tell. So anyway, I'm going to pull this one outside now. I right, clean it up, wind windscreen up, pull it outside. Hopefully, Lee will be here anytime soon. Just got to wait for Lee to turn up, um, hopefully at some point today. So Lee's just dropped off the transit, I'm going to give it a quick wash because um, it is pretty hanging. Just doing the full front end on this, going to be doing the bonnet, the lights, bumper, uh, wing mirrors, the A pillar, the top of the roof and the arches at the back and on the side and the handle cups as well so you don't catch it or don't scrape your nails or a ring on it um, and then the back bumper just along the top um, yeah so I'm going to give it a quick wash now and then we'll get it in so I'm going to be putting some PPF on this little panel here as you can see the dirt has been flicking off and onto that little panel it's actually worse there than it is on the back but I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing that inside area because it's quite a flat panel. Lee wanted that doing, but I'm actually going to add a bit to this part here. As you can see, <coughs> it's been thrown up a bit of dirt onto it. So, yeah, I'm going to do that as well. Uh, so, I've just snow foamed the van. I'm just waiting for it to settle for a minute. Um, unfortunately, I've run out of a storage on my phone, so I'm going to have to end the video here. Um, tune in next time. So, tune in next time, guys, so then you can see the finished and. So you can see the outcome of the van, do a full full video on P doing the PPF on the van. Anyway guys, like don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.